Okay, today I'm going to show you how to clone a hard drive or create an image of your hard drive, in other words. Uh, what you're going to need is a storage device to store the image on. This can be a thumb drive or it can just be an external USB hard drive like this. I find this the most convenient. And you'll also need a thumb drive with Clonezilla installed onto it. If you don't know how to do that, see the previous video. I have a link right here that shows you how to set up the USB drive. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We'll boot this uh, computer up and show you how to launch Clonezilla and get going. Okay, so step one is with your computer turned off, take your Clonezilla USB drive and plug it into the computer. And once that's done, you are ready to power up the device. And with laptops, it's sometimes hard to know how to load the boot menu. Generally it's F12, it could be Escape, it could be F11, it could be a lot of different things. So read your user manual or just kind of watch when it boots up and it usually tells you what you need to do to enter a boot menu. So let's go ahead and start this one up. And we see press Escape for the startup menu. Okay, so we caught the Escape. So on this computer the boot device option is F9. So we'll hit F9. And I have my flash drive that had Clonezilla installed. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to boot into that and it worked right off the bat. If you have a device that has secure boot turned on, you will have to disable secure boot and allow legacy devices to boot. So here we are in the boot screen of Clonezilla. So we're going to select the default settings. That's all you really need. Um, and we're going to let it load. Some people find Clonezilla a little bit intimidating because it's all command line, but really it's it's not too bad at all. And once you've done it a few times, it's in my experience the one of the easiest programs to use and usually it works better than than a lot of the other ones. The nice thing about it too is you can either uh, take a copy from the drive in your laptop and copy it to another drive. You can do drive to drive if you have two SATA ports. You can do drive to drive copies uh, or you can do a drive to image copy which then you can take that image, put a new hard drive in the device and then clone it back to the drive. So uh, it's going to ask what language. We're going to choose English. Uh, now we're not going to touch the key map. And we're going to start Clonezilla. And here we go. This is that feature I was just talking about. You can go device to image or device to device. If you have two hard drives in a computer and you want to just clone them and they're already all connected, do a device to device. But in our case, we're just looking to back up this laptop before we make some repairs on it just so we can get back to square one if we needed to. I'm going to be doing an OS upgrade on this device so I want to make sure I have a backup so I, if I screw something up that I'm covered. So I'm going to choose device to image. Okay, now at this point we have to mount an image directory and where I want to put the image is on this USB hard drive. So go ahead and plug that in. Plug in your second USB hard drive. It helps to have at least a USB 3 drive just so it's not slow as molasses. Uh, if you the, the best, absolute best option is a SSD inside a USB enclosure which is really nice because you can take some really fast backups. Anyways, I'm going to use a local device, this USB drive that I just plugged in. Okay, it's going to say, hey, this is the point where you, where you put in the USB device. We're just going to hit enter. And it's going to look at all the locations that it has.
Okay, at this point it will give you a list of all the partitions that are available. I know that I'm using my My Passport. It's a two terabyte little USB drive and that's what I'm going to choose. That's where the image will be saved. So I'm going to choose that. And it says, where do you want to put this? I'm fine putting it just in the top directory. So I'm going to hit enter. If you wanted to uh, create a folder on this drive called images or whatever you wanted, you would be able to choose the folder you wanted to save it as. So anyways, here we go. So press enter to continue. Now, since this is just the basic tutorial, we're going to go into the beginner mode and we are going to save disk, save the local disk as an image. So we're going to hit enter on that. You can also save individual partitions if you want, but usually 99% of the time you're going to want to clone the entire drive. At least that's how I usually use it. Okay, so you're going to choose a name for the image. I find it really easy just to take the date that's there and put in some sort of descriptor so you know the file when you get back to it. This is a compact notebook, so I'm just going to put compact with the date and hit enter, and I'll be good to go. Okay, this is the part where you choose the local disk that's going to be the source. So this is the source for the image you're trying to create. In our case, it's absolutely the laptop hard drive that's inside this machine. So I can see that's a 250 gigabyte uh, Western Digital Drive, and I'm going to choose that one. So we're going to skip any checking and repairing on this. Now, if you want to check and see if the image is restorable, you can. Um, for purposes of time, I'm not going to check the saved image, but if you've got mission critical stuff you're backing up, this would be a good idea. So I'm just going to skip checking it. And I'm not going to encrypt either. Okay, at this point, Clonezilla has built a whole command line that matches the parameters that we've just chosen through the menus. So really easily, you know, you didn't have to type any commands at all. You just had to know the right, uh, the right things to select. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter to continue. And it gathers information about the source drive. And at this point it says, are you sure you want to continue? I'm sure I want to do this. And here we go. You'll actually see it go through each of the individual partitions. This particular laptop seemed to have a bunch of re recovery partitions on it. Uh, so it's backing those up and it does all those partitions individually. And here we are to the main event, the largest uh, partition here. So we'll go ahead and watch this thing make its way through. The real fun thing to do is watch a SSD in a laptop backing up to an SSD USB drive because that is just super quick and it's really surprising how much quicker it is than these conventional uh, rotating disk hard drives so we're going it it'll give you a rate here we're copying actually pretty quick 843 megabytes per minute and uh, so we'll just let that run Okay, and with that, it finishes. Um, you will get a successful or fail. That will probably be in red text if it actually fails, but we were successful. Um, and at this point, you can either clone the drive again, or you can just leave, which is what most people will want to do. So if you hit enter, uh, you can then choose just to power off the machine. And that will turn the PC off. You've got your image on the drive, and you are good to go.